Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna do a quick video today and I'm gonna be talking about the Kosas Tinted Face Oil. This is a, you have to shake it. This is a tinted face oil that is a foundation and it's gotten a few reviews on YouTube. Some people like it, some people don't, but it's supposed to be super, super hydrating. And I thought women of a certain age would want something like this. It's a medium coverage, they say it's buildable, it's gluten-free and soy-free and vegan and cruelty-free, it's all the stuff that we want our foundation to be. It's very liquidy and light, and I think as we approach a certain age, whatever that age is for you, um, we wanna go a little bit lighter with our foundation. So I have nothing on right now as far as foundation goes, absolutely nothing. I've got concealer and I've got eyeshadow on and that's it. So I am gonna go in and put this foundation on. I'm also gonna come back several times during the day and I will give you a nice review so you'll know whether or not this is for you by the end of the day. Okay, I'm shaking it well. This foundation's got six different oils in it and they are all um, doing different things for your skin. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna try this out, see how it works during the day. I'm gonna put a little bit on my Fenty brush. I'm, it's very, very, watch, very liquidy. But it's, I wanna show you this, it's more foundation-y than oily, which I think is really good. That means I'm gonna get some decent coverage from it. So let's apply this and see what happens. Oh, and it's sinking right into my Fenty brush. I better hurry up. Okay, good color. It is very lightweight. And I need more. <laughs> I guess two drops isn't enough. Let's do a little more, there we go. It only has 10 colors, which is not a great shade range. However, because it's sheer to medium coverage, I think it's gonna be very forgiving as far as the colors go. So you should be able to get a color to match you. The bad news with this is I, I don't see it in any of our Sephora's, it's only online. And I had to order mine online, I had to guess on the color, and I got lucky and got the right color. So, let's see. I'm getting a nice glow. I'm all, I am gonna put some powder on, I don't want too much of a glow. But I'm, I kinda like it, it's covering pretty well, see? I'm gonna go back and add a little bit more right in through here on both sides. Just one more little dot. I think I would have done better if I had placed it on my Scott Barnes palette first and rather than directly on my brush, because I think my brush is kind of eating some of it up. I'm not seeing any issues with my pores. It seems to be covering really well. I do love the coverage. So let's set this with some powder and see what happens. I'm gonna use my ambient powder. I got this, I love this so much. Um, this is the, hang on a second, ambient lighting palette. It's got three colors, dim light, incandes incandescent light, and radiant light. And I believe this was a limited edition one that they did for Sephora. I hope I'll be able to get it again. I don't know if I will, but I'm gonna put some powder on here just to set things. You can definitely feel that it's an oil foundation, but it's not like, I don't feel like I have to wait 20 minutes for it to absorb into my skin. It feels quite nice actually. There, that looks pretty good. Whew. I like it. I, honestly, I really hope that it wears well during the day because I, at this moment, really, really like it a lot. So I'm gonna throw on a little bit of contour bronzer. I use the Ambient Light palette for that too, contour. Okay, contour my nose a little. For my blush, I did not get one out. Let's find a blush. I'm gonna use Ecstasy from Charlotte Tilbury. That's one of my ride or die blushes. And I think I've said to you before, I use the Fenty um, highlighter brush as my blush brush, just cause I love where it puts the product. Let's go. There we go, a little bit, a little bit of blush. It's not sticking and blotching on my face, even though I have the oily foundation on. I hate to say oily, that makes it sound bad. It's not bad at all. It's actually quite nice. And I think on skin that's my age, maybe a little younger, maybe a little older, you know, people that are concerned about looking youthful, I think this might be a really good fix. So hang on a sec. You know, I always, always put too much blush on. I always do, I know it's who I am. So I'm toning it down. I'm gonna grab a little Milani lipstick, which is a good color. This is called, 
I Am Awesome, which is a really great throw in your purse kind of lipstick color. It goes with everything. Don't even need a liner. I'm gonna go in with the tiniest bit of highlighter from the Fenty um, Kilowatt. This is the Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. It's really my favorite highlighter. And there's a super sparkly and a not so sparkly and I just swirl them both together. So I'm gonna do a little highlight <laughs> with the absolute wrong brush up here. And they're just, oh yeah, that shows up. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit on the end of my nose. I'm going down my nose. I that one for lip, which normally I do before lipstick, but I'm working a little backwards today. And there we go. So this is gonna be my look for today. Let me get move a little bit closer so you can see. I'm just gonna stand up a little. Still a little too much blush, but it's fine. But the foundation itself actually looks really good. Let me just one more quick powder just to make sure I haven't missed any spots. And I really do wanna to tone down that blush a little bit. And because I've got a little bit of drama going on on this side that you hear me talk about in almost every video, I'm going to take a tiny little brush and I have this cute little Glossier powder. I bought it because the lid's pink, whatever. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a tiny bit and I'm gonna mat out right here because this is where my texture is. And I put that highlighter on and I don't want any highlighter to accentuate the texture right there. So I am going to check back with you in a few hours. I'll check back a couple of times and I'm not gonna touch up anything except my lips. So we'll see whether or not this product is worth the $42 price tag. At this moment, having put it on 30 seconds ago, I'm saying, yes, I love it. So we'll see what happens. Hey everybody, I just wanted to check in and talk to you about this foundation. It is actually looking pretty good. It doesn't look dry at all. It's kind of dewy looking actually. It was a really long sweaty day today, so I expected this stuff to just completely go away. And the only problems I'm seeing with it are on my nose where my glasses rest. And that's not a problem with the foundation, that's because my glasses are there. But I didn't have to touch up powder. I didn't have to touch up anything today. So I'm actually kind of excited to use this again. And and um, see how it works again on the second day. So um, I think I will keep it away from my eyes. I did have a little smearing under my eyes of my mascara, and that's because I did get some of the foundation around my eyes, so let's not do that tomorrow. But overall, this is a really, really good looking foundation. I mean, I feel like my skin looks good. I don't have a whole lot showing through. It's been quite a while. It is, hmm, it's about seven o'clock here, and I put this on at 7.30 this morning, so almost 12 hours of wear. So it looks pretty darn good, I think. My blush didn't disappear, nothing disappeared. The only thing I've touched up all day long is the smearing of my mascara under my eyes and I've touched up my lipstick, that is it. Hey everybody, it's day two of my wearing of the Kosas foundation. I did things a little bit differently today. I didn't add the ambient powder other than using it as a highlighter on my nose because I think it added a little too much shine to the foundation. I did use a matte powder. I used my Glossier powder over top of it. I put a little extra powder under my eyes and hopefully that won't crease and make my eyes look super, super old. So I will get back to you later on today and let you know how it all worked out. So I'm gonna tell you, this is a really nice foundation. Using it with the Glossier powder worked much better than with the ambient powder, as much as I love that. Uh, but it looks really good. My skin looks great. And it has been, again, another horrible, hot and sweaty day at work. And I came home, changed, and I thought, I'm not going to wash my face yet because I want to. I have to remember to tell you guys what I thought about this stuff. It's $42, which is a little bit pricey. But I really think the look that I got from it is worth it. As you can see, it looks really pretty on my skin. My blush didn't go away. Everything stayed in place. I'm actually pretty excited about it. So I'm going to continue wearing it. And I recommend you try it out. You will, however, have to get it on Sephora's website because they don't carry it in the store. But I think you will find that you can pick out a color that works for you because as I said, being a sheer to medium coverage product, it's very forgiving in the way it looks on your skin. So please try it out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I would love to hear from you about this. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like these types of reviews, let me know. If there's anything specific you'd like me to get out and review for you, please tell me and I'll be happy to do that for you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.